morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Sepp welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom! Da -da 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 -da. Straight back into it, exactly where we left off. It's morning time now for me in real life. So, a dazzle fruit, a fruit charged with a powerful light. Break it to unleash dazzling sparkles that blind monsters nearby. Cool. Isn't it weird how this is basically the same Hyrule as last time? Like it's the same map. Just with all these extra islands and stuff lying around, but so many new plants and stuff growing. I don't really understand how they're explaining that away, um, but let's get our bearings a little. We have Hyrule Castle, which Ganon did his whole like, and, like rosin in the air. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming like Wind Temple. That is so sick looking though. Um, there's these giant, like, boxes in the air. I think there's another one. Yeah, there's another one over there. What the hell are those? God, the skylines are so cool. It's really weird to have a game like this come out that is so much like the first one that... Oh, lightning over there. It's so much like the first game that it almost makes the first game obsolete now. Like, it does everything the first game did, but now probably better. Um, here's a shrine. Let's go to that, maybe. What is- what's going on here? Oh my god, there's so much to do. I'm so overwhelmed. Even in the first episode, I was overwhelmed. I didn't know what the fuck I was supposed to do. There's another one over there. Uh, we don't know! Oh, this is gonna be a core rock for sure. I'm gonna lift this rock and he's gonna be underneath it. Pick, pick it up! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! I'm gonna drop it on his head and he's gonna go. <laughs> I love that they put that in because they knew people would just drop it immediately after picking it up. Damn, so much fire fruit around. Whoa, there's tons of shrines! Oh, that looks like a, like, a little town area. I, li I like a little town area. Ooh, stable! Yeah, okay, let's go there first. That's all this game is gonna be, it's like... Oh, let's go over here! Oh, wait, what's that over there, though? No, wait, let's go over here! What are you doing? Oh, that is... I am not playing... Uh... <laughs> FromSoft game. I was trying to lock on with right-click. Rock hammer! Whoa. Where did that stuff go? Did it burn up? Dang it. Fire emitters are fire, though. I want my paraglider, dang it! This game is so boring to run around in. Well, that's not boring, but it's so much stupider to run around in this game when you don't have a paraglider. Give me those apples. Thank you. Stampede! You wanna fucking go? You wanna go? I'll burn your ass down! I'll burn your whole family to the ground! Back here! Right in your teeth. Hey, 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 hey! I got a wooden stick. What is that? I kind of want to attach that to a weapon. But I don't know what it is yet. Don't matter. I'm going to do it anyway. A cobbling horn. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! My name's Link and I'm awesome! I don't know why I'm putting all that heat on you, Link. I don't know why I'm coming after you like that. <laughs> He's just a little guy. Wow. Everything sure is brown looking, isn't it? Whoa, giant donut! The hell is that? Can I fly through it? Get on one of those bird things and just... Da -da 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 -da! Oh, this is strong. Crap! I keep forgetting that the shield, as soon as I try and block it all... Can't carry any more melee weapons. Well, 
Put that one away. Can't you just, like, get rid of something? Get fucking tree branch? I wish they changed that. I wish I could, um, substitute a weapon immediately and not have to throw it away and then pick up another thing. Hell yeah, I am the strongest. The strongest and the best. Wow. So peaceful. So peaceful. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I need the meat. How else am I gonna survive in this godforsaken land? I need meat for sustenance. Is that over there? A dock. It is a shame though that the resolution is ass. It's like what, 900p? It's not even 1080p? Ugh. It's fine, it's a switch, it's still fun to play, the resolution doesn't matter that much. But at the same time... Like, make a new switch. <laughs> or... What I would really like is, can you imagine if you had a Switch and the dock, you could buy like a dock that was better, that had an external GPU in it, so that when you plugged your Switch into the dock, and then plugged that into your TV, it had extra horsepower to just get you to higher resolution and frame rate. I don't need like crazy textures, I don't need extra particle effects or all that, the game looks gorgeous as it is, but just give us the opportunity to like, let it shine, increase the frame rate higher, and increase the resolution. At least 1080p with 60 FPS. It's 2023. That should be a baseline for every game. Hey, what's up? Uh, These bubble frog creatures are supposed to live in caves, eh? That's a bubble frog. Oh, oh. Don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it. Oh. Uh, are you by chance looking for bubble frogs too? Oh. That's right. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. They must have asked you too. Supposedly, there are creatures called bubble frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls. Odd ah. stuff. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Elden, curious pair, very strange, maybe a little off. They're looking for something the bubble frogs drop. They asked me to do collecting. Ah. So that's where I bring them. Okay. Good talking to you, Gladys. That's not your name. I don't believe that. I would have called you dumbass instead. Can I? Huh? Hey, drop a freaking rupees! Huh? Get back here! Hold on. Let me use my stun thing. Well, tits. Those are the the like money bunnies, aren't they? I forgot about them. I thought he was a bubble frog. Jesus! Start swinging, Link! Don't stop until you see the clear of day! Wait, so... Oh, man, is that how they're gonna do it? So, a big thing with dungeons in games, and Skyrim and Elden Ring are a good example of this. Zelda is like the king of it. Zelda is flawless when it comes to its dungeon design because they think of everything. But, um, especially older Zelda games, but Elden Ring and... Uh, Skyrim had to do like little tricks because when you go into dungeons it's like you get in you explore you do all your stuff but then it's like how do you get out when you're done and especially how do you know you're out and how do you know you're at the end of it uh, unless you have like a map or something to explore it so Elden Ring's solution was that you go in you do the dungeon and then there's like a blue light that you click and you end up at the start of it again I really don't like that design because I feel like especially for FromSoft it's lazy uh, lazy is probably not a right word but I feel like it's cutting corners where FromSoft are so good at their level design that why don't you just do what Skyrim did where you get in, you do the dungeon, whatever. Sure, the dungeons all kind of look the same, but at the end of it, there's a door that's like a secret wall that opens up and then you're back out at the entrance of it. I love that. So I think what this game is doing is that you have the ascend ability now. So when you're in the dungeon and you feel like you've explored everything, then you just use the ascend ability to go through the roof to get back out of it. That's kind of cool. Oh my god. What are all these? What are those? Oh hell yeah, god, I'm telling you.
talented. Long stick. No thanks. Roasted bass spear. What's that gonna do? Horriblin. Oh, so we have new enemies. What are you gonna do with a roasted bass spear? You're just gonna be like, eat it! Come on, nom nom, open wide! Diddle diddle do. Nice. Horriblin claw. Blue horriblin horn. Um, I kinda want that, actually. I get rid of wooden box club. I don't want to get rid of long stick stick. Long stick stick is friend. Yeah, eat it, eat it. Horriblin horn. Ooh, a rupus. Glad I picked that up now. See, even that is like, people on the dev team had to think of that. Like people are gonna pick up all our rocks. So we probably should hide shit under some of them. That's wild to me. So much thought gone into how players play games. Hi, 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 hi. And hi! Nice. All right. How do I? Oh, I was like, how do I get the stuff up there though? But I have a ascend ability. Okay, the platform is not that big, so is that like a loading screen thing? A bright cap, a mushroom that grows in caves and contains luminescent enzymes. Cook it in a dish to give a glowing effect to anyone who eats it. You mean I can eat that and glow? Yep. Soldier spear spear. Wait, but... So when you pick stuff up out of chests, you can do this, but you can't do it out in the fucking wild? That's annoying. Um, oh, what do I want to get rid of? This is eight. So let's get rid of one of these. Uh, drop you. And then that picked up you? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Whoa! <laughs> Holy God! I'm gonna pierce Jesus himself up in heaven. Fucking hell. Oh, but I want to get over there. Idea. Wait, that's annoying though. Why can when I pick up stuff in the wild, why doesn't it just give me that option to change that then and there? Why does it have to be stuff out of chests? I don't like that. It feels redundant. Yep. That's probably not the right word. Bomb flowers. It's nice to see the bombs back. They weren't in Breath of the Wild. Now let's just fucking do this. Oh, I can't just do it anywhere? Oh, it's so trippy! I'm over here! What are you gonna do about it? Nothing! There's nothing you can do! I have all the power! Where was that stable? <laughs> Maybe I should just climb on my long stick stick. And it'll find it. Wait, I should be following the- Oh, it's right there. I forgot that there was smoke coming out of it. Man, this is so fun. Just getting in, fucking exploring, figuring things out as you go on your own. You don't know anything about the game yet. You don't know where anything is. You don't know the story. Honestly, the best part about a game is playing it for the first time. Sure, when you get better at games, like... I'm really good at Bloodborne now, but I'll never have that experience again of learning Bloodborne. Of figuring things out, of the failure versus... Triumph. Now I play it and I know the weaknesses of all the bosses, so I just do things quick. Whoa, can I make a car? That's sick. I want to do that after. Everything's sick in this game. Uh, good afternoon, uh, uh, Mr. Customer. Where did the wise don't take too much comfort from the afternoon sun? The forest near here is still a dangerous place. Got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a forest. I mean, 
Fortress! I mean, fortress. Forestress. Anyway, it's B-A-D bad news. And I brought some other monsters with it. And look! I worked so hard to build a well, and now I can't even use it. I mean, not that hard to make a new well, but... What if the monster... This monster, monster... Monster decides to raid us! I can't sleep, I can barely talk! <laughs> I thought maybe I'd try sneak attack from behind, you know, stay out of their field of view. It did not go well. I'm missing a leg now. Someone could at least get that big one to leave. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll do it. I ain't afraid. What are you? A little baby? A little baby man baby? Wait, so to make a well, do I just throw these in here? Let's try it. It went in, but nothing happened. Okay. Don't worry, I'll kill the monster. It's just a fucking bacoblin or moblin or whatever those big guys are called. Magmoblin. Small monsters, monster. Here I come. My name is Link. I'm gonna stab you in the ass. My name is Link, and I'm really cool, and you're gonna die really fast. If I could stab you without the lies elbows. Noticing it would be cool. <laughs> Unleash hell! Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Um. That was the strongest thing I had. Um. Okay, let's do this. Dude, you can't even get near me! I am the Reach! Give me your fucking shield. You didn't get to block shit anymore. When you get stuck by a long stick, you stay down! That was cool. Don't call for help. Don't be that guy. Come on, man. Like, why can't I just do the thing here? Carry any more bows? Why not? Drop one of these. Nice. Dude, I messed them up. They didn't stand any chance against me. Did you see me? Did you see me, guys? I was tight. Yeah, it is a moblin. I'm gonna go talk to the baby again. Be like, yeah, I killed them all. Didn't even hurt. Didn't even get hit, actually. Here's your stupid well back. Laneru Wetlands. Hi, I'm back. Did you see me? Did you take pictures? It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Customer? You got rid of that nasty monster! Yeah, didn't you see? I knew it! I was cheering f for you from here the whole time! Aww. Amazing, thank you! I was so scared! I'm just a kid, so I don't have any money or anything. But I could give you pony points as a thank you. That's a made-up currency, isn't it? That's your crypto, isn't it? Oh, you're a crypto douche! Aww. Oh, you're not a stable member yet, are you? If you save a pony points, you can turn them in for all sorts of prizes. So come talk to me again once you've joined. Okay. I'll become a pony boy. Oh. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. Seems oh. you're not a member yet. You'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask for your name? Link. Oh. All right, Mr. Link. There, you're all signed up. Now, would you like to tell me about the stable system? I already know, but just in case there's new stuff. Forge your horses, yeah, some of them. Wild horses, oh. if you catch one, yeah. There's a limit to them. Okay, so nothing new. 
And you can sleep. Hmm? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work! Oh. That's right! It's a reward system you can use at stables! In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Here's a little something to mark your first visit to Wetland Stable. You get a pony point. Wow. Alright. Oh. Oh. You can use that fucking book over there if you want. You get some pony points for yourself. Get rewards. Yeah, I'm a member now. Whoa. Thanks to you, that nasty monster is gone! And I can welcome customers with peace of mind, thank you! What can I get? Hi! Hi! Yes! I'll be right with you! Oh! Oh! You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. Your reward for three points is a towing harness! Whoa! Can I stick stuff to that and then fuse it? And then use my horse as like a... I'm gonna make a plow! I'm gonna till the fields! I'm gonna make a life for myself! Attach a wagon or other objects to the harness for a horse to tow. Whoa. Okay. Get two more points. You got it. Yeah! Yeah! Hey there! Are you a fellow traveler on your journey of life? It's me, Beetle! If you forget, my beetle-shaped pack is right here to remind you. Wow! In this topsy-turvy world, there's only one direction to go. Forward. So when I travel, it's forward all the way. I can sell you bugs at the highest quality. And if you need anything else on your life journey, I can sell you that too. Short on rupees? Don't worry. They'll buy anything you don't want weighing you down. <sighs> anything. <laughs> Sell me your shoes, your toenail clippings, sell me your bodily fluids! Uh, <laughs> and what better way to lighten up than to sell your rocks? Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. Zaza! <laughs> well, well, what'll it be? <laughs> um, I don't want that. I want to sell, sell, sell. No, 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 no. That. Can I sort? Yeah. Sort by most used by type. Ooh, multiple sorting options now. Uh, that's nice. So these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, this is amber. I thought this was one of the horns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see what new outfits are going to be in this game. Everything else I'm gonna keep, because I don't know... Damn, 26 of those for 6 each? I don't know what else things are used for, I just know that these I can sell from the last game, because... You need them for a certain outfits sometimes, but... More often than not, you can just sell them to get money, to get better outfits. Chicken! <laughs> Guess I'd better head out. Need something? Better make it quick! I'm supposed to be on my way to the Ring Ruins in Kakariko Village. Hmm. You probably know that fallen Zonai ruins have been found all over the world since the upheaval. Wait, so they, they're they falling? They're not risen out of the ground? Were they just like in space? Dude, what is wrong with your face? <laughs> well, the ones at Kakariko Village have been dubbed the Ring Ruins, owing to the distinctive circular shapes. Wait, but how long has it been since these things are falling, that you gave it names? Oh. Oh. Alright, see ya. See ya later. Bye. I'm leaving now. Don't even try and stop me. Sky Shroom, a common mushroom that grows near trees and sky islands. Eat it to restore health. I'll cook a little. Mushroom skewer! Well, this... Okay, I want to try it out. <laughs> I want to cook it, but I feel like it's just going to explode and kill me. Oh, dubious food. Oh, it would have been funny if you put it in and it just went, BOOM! <laughs> Do 
killed your ass right then and there. Simmered fruit! What happens if I cook one of these? Rapid simmered fruit! Oh, my swim speed went up. Cool. Now let's cook one of you into it. Actually, just cook it into the mushroom. Fruit and mushroom mix. Okay, so that didn't really do anything. Um, these are for stamina. I never, ever, ever used those before. So many things I can cook. Stam bulb. Contains nutrients that increase endurance. Cook it to restore stamina. Oh, I should cook my meats. I only have four hearts, so I shouldn't cook too many of them together. Wait, so I discovered all of Hyrule last time, and now I have to do it again? Well, that's just unbelievable, isn't it? That's just a pain in my ring ruins. Oh, do you think that that's what that is over there? So where's like dueling peaks? I wasn't the best at remembering the map in this game, so I'm probably... Wait, isn't that supposed to be to my right? Hold on a second. I thought it was over there. Hmm, most curious. So I want to head to this, I think. And then that tower. Yeah! Yeah! Let's head over there! What is this? Amaranth. Or Amaranth. I want to get some hearty food. Hearty food is the best. Just cook one of those bad boys into something else and then you get a full heal. I'm going to go over and attack all these guys, but not until after I talk to this beautiful person. <gasps> You're a Gerudo. Sabak. Sabak. Oh, hey, kid. Keep your eyes peeled around these parts, okay? The Laneru wetlands have been the monster's turf for a long time. So there are lots of creeps hanging around. I heard some of them even set up camp in the ruins nearby. You mean those ruins right there? Or like a different one? You better be ready for things to get ugly. Okay, ugly like your face. <laughs> I'm sorry, you didn't deserve that. You're very beautiful. All the Gerudos are such strong, powerful women. Um, let's do this. Hell yeah! That's so cool! And again! <laughs> God, you guys suck! Oops. Oops. God, that does not go very far. Okay, let me just sneak in. Let me just do a little sneaky. I, I, I just do a little sneaky. It's okay. No one panic. No one worry whatsoever. Just because my stick is like a giant fucking flagpole doesn't mean you have to worry. We're still good. We're still good. Nice! Damn! Right in the jugular! Assassinated him! And just for the sake of it... Just because I can. And it's cool. What are you guys hiding? Eliza Boomerang. I'll get rid of... I don't even want to get rid of anything. I guess base spear. That is not how that worked. Okay, why can't I just click A on it? Like swap. Why is it drop? Ah, so confusing. Well, it's not confusing, it's just... Feels like it's slightly off. To the point where it's making it not as intuitive. <gasps> that was close, I almost annihilated myself. <laughs> I love throwing these. I love the explosion effect. It's so pretty. Man, all I had to do was fire a fucking bomb arrow up there. That would have been tight as heck. Okay, what else did you guys drop? Or did I burn it all up because I exploded everything? Probably. Sundalion! Soaked in sunlight. Its petals restore health. Okay. Thank you. 
guess I should go try get a horse at some point, but... Do I really want to? No. I've answered my own question. Hey, I did find stuff. So what's the deal with this stuff? What's the deal with this stuff? How am I gonna make a car out of this? Okay, let's think about this logically. Can I, like, let's say this is upside down right now, and I'm gonna flip it. Because I need enough clearance for the wheels, but I don't know how much clearance that is. Maybe I'll just stick two more on it. But how do you make it go? I guess I could attach some of the fans that I have. Uh, is that centered? Yep. <laughs> this is such an abomination. This is where I look at somebody else's design then and I'm like, Oh, yeah, that was way easier than what I did. But you live and you learn, you know? Uh, and let's stick you there. Yeah, because that wouldn't have been enough. Oh, it would have been. Why didn't I think of that? I'm like, it's not enough clearance for the wheel, but once the wheel on, it, the wheel is on, it makes the clearance for you. But you know what? This is what I'm doing right now. Oh, I guess this is like a carriage that you can carry with your horse with the new thing I got, but... Why would you do that? See, I, I'm gonna need a way of like... Registering vehicles that I have made. Registering things that I've made, because once this is made... I spent so long doing it that I just will not want to do this again. So how would I go about registering this as a thing? <laughs> like, that's great and all, but I can't steer it and I can't make it move without putting fans on it. And the amount of time it's taken me to actually make this... Also, this menu sucks. The amount of time it's taken me to make this... Would be better spent. Hold on. No, not to the wheel, to the back. Nice. <laughs> like, the amount of time it took me to make this and the distance it takes me, I would have been better off just running. It's like he's a little carriage that he's made, but whoa, whoa, ha <laughs> ha, idiot, have fun over there, dumbass. Come here. Whoa, he's back. My wonderful creation has now gone all the fucking way back there. Okay, I'm not picking up any of these. Like that stinks. Because there's like little things everywhere where it's like, yeah, you can make this and like, take the materials and use them for yourself, but... Maybe there's better things I can do with it later. Maybe I can steer it later on. So this stuff becomes better. I mean, it is cool. Like, it's crazy to see this stuff actually work, but... Bye. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Hell yeah, that was sick! Shut up. Why, why is that tree moving? Oh god, oh god, oh god, that is the wrong thing, Link. That is the wrong thing that you just did. Oh, you're hitting me with your horn.
<laughs> okay. This thing is almost broken, so let's... Boogie! Wait, did that even hit you? <laughs> You're on fire, though. This is... Oh, why do I have to fight a tree? I know your fucking weakness, though. The ants going to war? Like, what did I do? I don't want to fight trees. I want to fight the other guys. Ooh, that's a cool bacoblin horn. I should stick that on something. Pick up everything, Link. It's all useful. Um, okay, I, I got logs, but I don't need logs. Dude, this is so handy now, instead of having to, like, climb anything. Oh, what a goddamn treat. That's not what I meant to pick up. That explosion is so big that I'm worried that it's actually going to catch me. Okay, moving on. Thank you for your wonderful service. I'm heading to one of those. Yeah, because I was like, oh, how do we get up this? I guess I could climb the edge of that, but I just have a send ability. Kind of trivializes the whole climbing system, but who really cares? That's another stable over there. You know? Why are you? Why are you? Get out of here! Why is the sky mad at me? Ah! Link! Son of a bitch! Oh my god, oh my god, I can't sprint, I can't sprint! Take damage from gloom, your maximum number of hearts will decrease. What? Do, do I get those back? Okay, whoo! What the fuck is that? Do you think they're like bombs? Sweet Jesus, trying to get through this menu system. They have like little eyeballs on them. That did next to nothing. Okay, what is that? Gloom materials. A dark clump, an unusual substance. It's cold to the touch and seems as though it's filled with high, or er, high pitch, with pitch black darkness. Use it in a cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Nice, that's pretty cool. Sorry, you guys are gonna have a- Oh, I wanted to do that, but what if I blow up the gloom things? Worth it. Well, I didn't blow them up yet. Oh, fuck! I probably destroyed it. Damn it! <laughs> I mean, I knew that would happen, but it's just so much more fun to see stuff explode. With a bomb. Ah, there'll be more. If it's just used in cooking as well, it's not as crazy as I expected. I thought I would be able to use it in, like, weapons and uh, create armor out of it. I mean, maybe still, but... I'm proud of my choices. Oh wait, can I not do that here? Hmm, interesting. They thought of that. Am I going to 
even have enough stamina to get up here? I don't know. It looks like I'm able to stand on this part, though. Oh my god, Link. Did you just forget everything that happened? Whoa, what's over there? Like, why are you so bad at everything now? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it, and that's gonna hurt. Oh. Woo. Okay. So what do I do? You give me this brand new beautiful ascend ability. And you don't let me use it on stuff far away. Fine. Fine. I'm gonna go over to this thing. I'm gonna figure things out on my own. Hmm. There must be a way of getting up there now. That's right, it's the start of the game. Maybe you can build something that flies me up. What's up, douchebag? Pretend you didn't see that. Pretend you didn't see it. I didn't call you anything. I didn't call you anything. Uh, let me... This. God damn it. Too close. Ouch. Um... Maybe we're just gonna run away. I don't really want that lightning wand. And I also don't want to die. That's that's more important. The dying sucks. I'm here for the living. This is a Korok for sure. Ooh. Yeah, that'll work. Ow! What are these? Hi. Mm-hmm. Did you perhaps come to see the Skyview Tower? Huh. This building is a Skyview Tower. They've been built in every region. Yeah. Pura at Lockout Landing knows a lot about Skyview Towers. If you have questions, you should ask her. Oh. Huh? Oh, am I not allowed to do anything with this yet? Why do I even bother? Why do I even bother coming over here? Why do I bother doing anything? Exploring at my own pace. No, the game's clearly like, hey, go here. <laughs> Ow. Can I fast travel to this? Nope. Whoa! Whoa! They built a fucking... They built a thing on top of a thing! That's so cool! You know what's even cooler? Killing you guys! <laughs> oh, it'd be so nice if I had more of those. Um, let's just fire this, I guess. Oh, oh I thought he was going to fall off. Okay, okay, um... Didn't expect to have to fight all of you at once. Ah, Jesus! Ah, my bones! Okay. Ow, fuck! How did you... Uh, how did you still get me? Uh, is anything... Full health? Please? Get the fuck out of here. Do, 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 do. Okay, surely I'm able to get on your back somehow. If I had my fucking glider, I could. Go over here. Oh, 
wonder if I can use my ascend ability, actually. It's showing, like, that it kind of works. Yeah! Dude, I'm in you! What are you gonna do now? Can't do shit! Smacking the crap out of your rock! Ah! Ow! Ow! Okay, okay, okay! You're, yeah, you're cool. Eh! God, what the fuck do I do? I'm determined to kill this bastard. Um, let's sort by fuse attack power. Uh, I don't know if that worked the way I wanted it to. My most used. No. Can I dazzle him? Wow. Ah, Jesus Christ. I need to, I need to get the fuck out of here. I need to leave, bro. I'm gonna get my ass killed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I kind of want to do it, though. Actually, that's not gonna happen. I I got on top of him and I smacked the shit out of his thing and that's the damage I did. And this is one of my stronger weapons, so... I don't think we're ready for that yet. If I had bomb arrows still, it would've been sick. Stop! Why are you so mean? I'm just a little guy! In I go. Now I can breathe. Oh, it's a Hinox. Oh, do you think I could get under him and get my way through his belly? I really think this is like a one hit kill for me. I feel like if I get hit by this guy, I'm gonna die, but... I really wanna try. Don't wake up. Don't wake up, sleep forever. Can I climb him without him waking up? Like, what's my- what's my best plan of attack here? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing decent damage. So long as he doesn't kill me. <laughs> um, I got shock fruit. Maybe this will work well. Oh lord. Oh, and I want a shot! Oh, I should be in there. Okay, right in the fucking eye. Yeah, baby! Um, oh lord, I'm gonna break all my weapons fight this guy. That's okay, there's more weapons on him. Just keep stabbing. Just keep stabbing. It's all about stabbing. Okay. Ooh. Um, let's set him on ice. Didn't fucking work. Let's set him on fire. Oh lord. I can't see anything. Uh, let's just keep doing that. God, stop fucking moving! There we go. Okay. I can do this. As long as I just keep doing what I'm doing, I can do this. Fuck you! There we go. Okay, let's go straight in your eye as well. Or not, or not, or not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I mean, I kind of meant to, but not in the way you think. 
Holy God. I'm surprised I survived that. No! Oh! This is good! This is good! Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. He who gets greedy gets killed. God! Did you see that? That was sick! Oh, yeah, I got toenails for my troubles. Oh, that was awesome. That's what I wanted to do with the stone talus, and then I got too scared. <sighs> my heart is Russian. Well, my heart's Irish, actually, but... You know what I mean. That was fucking awesome. What an intense battle. Hard fought. Right to the end. Whew. I enjoyed that quite heavily. I'm still trying to make my way to Impa. Am I even slightly closer? Nope. Not even a little bit. Probably should have got a horse that time. But I just, I never really liked getting horses in this game because once you get like a tiny bit away from them, yeah, let's go to this. Once you get a tiny bit away from him, they're like, oh, sorry, he's not close enough. And you could get the thing, like the ancient armor that made him... <laughs> you could get the ancient armor that made it easier to, like, summon him anywhere, but... I don't know. Okay, where is your friend? Oh, man. I mean, I guess I could bring you... Except we're going to have to walk like this the entire way. I guess I could just do this and make it faster. That actually makes it a bit faster. It's still a pain in my ass, though! Oh, now I get it. So if I wanted to do this... I could make a wagon for my horse and then that would... I'd be able to attach him to that and then I'd be able to run with him. With my horse, so I'd, everything would be faster. I guess that makes sense, but again, making the things is just... it takes too long. My brain wants instant results. I'm coming, friend! Don't you worry! This is where I was already! I was already here and I ran away from it, now I'm back. You little Koroks. Why couldn't you be in the other direction? There you go. At least you get two Korok seeds for it, that's pretty good. Okay, now don't get into trouble again. If I have to come back... What is going on with this ground? Is it... Is it a mirror of that? What the fuck is this thing? Is that a spring? Like a suspension system? Okay. I don't really get what this thing is used for. Just fall into it. <laughs> and get sprung. I don't know. There's fans here as well. Rocks. Let me just stick them to the side of that and go flying. Whoa. Whoa. What is that? This is just... Wow! Oh, that's right! If you recall these, you can go back into the sky, right? Oh, but that's very far away. I don't think I can recall that far. I can't quite recall. There's too many things to do. I'm constantly like, where do I go? What do I do? Where do I go? What do I do? Where do I go? What do I do? 
Let's go over here. Let's do this. Actually, no. Let's stop what we're doing. Let's go over here. It's an ADHD nightmare. Sorry, boys. I can't play right now. Ow. Oh my god. Oh, this is bad. Oh, now I can see it. <laughs> this is such a stupid idea. I don't have a glider. Oh god. Ah! Help! <laughs> Maybe I can make the water. Make the water! Link! For the love of god! Make it! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh! <sighs> okay. I'm done fucking around. I'm done finding out. I just want to go to the shrine and do that. <laughs> shrine! Tajikat's shrine. What's in here then? This is the first shrine we're doing that isn't related to the tutorial. It's cool that it shows the map now, so you kind of know where you are. Alright. Building with logs. Sure, I can do that. I mean, I guess I can just do this. Climb that. Right? Uh-huh. And you know what? I'm gonna bring you with me. Oh, almost killed myself. Um, interesting. If I put three logs together and lay them on this, will they not slide down? Let's find out! Because otherwise I think if I put one down, it's gonna fall. Oh, it might still fall. That's a bouncy one! Okay, wait, if I just stick... Uh, like this... That'll work better, right? Assuming this reaches... I have to go down gently, though. Every time it... Every time it lands like that, it just slides. Come on. Come back up now. Yeah, yeah, down gently, down gently. Nice. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, now you come with me. Just in case I need more. Might be the end of it though. Nope, not the end. Okay. Oh. That worked well. Uh, let's just stick you to you so I can carry both at the same time. Throw you over there. I don't like how many logs you've given me. Because now I feel like I have to make something ridiculous to get over this. Um... What if I... Okay. I have a plan which is to make like a thick base. And I mean like thick. Like five logs wide. Or four. Depending on how much distance I can get away with. And that is not the right button. <laughs> you can have that if you want though. Stick these all like this, right? And then use those as a base in the water. And then these, I can stick back to back to back. Now, if that's gonna work or not, I don't know. I feel like this is too long. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I could just do this. Will that work? Like, stick you to that. 
Hey! Nice! Man, it's crazy that you can just pull the entire thing at once. I kind of love that, actually. Okay, do you think I can swim over there? You know what I probably have to do is... Oh, I shouldn't have started that side. I should have started here. Okay, it's turning, which I don't like. The fact that you're constantly moving is pissing me off! Just get back here. I think we're just gonna have to make it one giant long pole. Why is there a bajillion more logs here? Oh, I don't need to do any of that. I thought I had to do something way more difficult. I can just make a little raft. But what kind of raft do I want to make? Should it be cool looking? Like it has two long parts out the back like that where the fans go? That is not the orientation I wanted, but okay. Go off, I guess. Can I use the fans that I've already gotten? Like, I got fans out in the wild. Can I just use those in here? Because then you can kind of cheat the shrines, right? Dude, this thing is sick looking! It might be a little too big, though. I don't know if that's going to affect our trajectory. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh, fucking dick. Fuck out of here. God, you've been nothing but a nuisance. Okay, stop. Stop. We must stop this. We must start again. <laughs> you know when I was trying to make things easier and all I did was fucking create hardship for myself? That's life. This should have been so easy. This should have been so goddamn easy. Then I assume you go a little left because that's where everything was kind of pulling before. God, that's fun though! Figuring that stuff out and building your own shit! Uh, drop you. All that for a spiky shield. Like, I can't wait to see how many different ways people do this. There's going to be easier and harder ways of doing it. But it's so exciting to think how people are going to use their brains to figure this shit out. Or like me, where you fuck it up and your brain doesn't help you at all. Okay, we still made it. We're still good. We're still fine. See all that technology over there. You know the zone I have way better stuff. You know that they have way easier ways of doing this, and they have way more technology, but they're like, no, here's just some fans and some logs. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. That took forever. <laughs> it's fine. It's all part of the mystery. It's all part of the journey. The journey is the part you remember the most anyway. What is it that Miley Cyrus says in that clip? All that for one fucking light container thing. Oh, those are the symbols for the shrines. You can see it on my mini-map. When I was in the loading screen, I was like, what does that symbol mean? Wait, Impa's not in that tornado, is she? I also got a thing, I got pony points and then I got god horse fabric. And I wonder if it's... It said that I could make a paraglider out of it, but I wonder if I get to make the paraglider soon. There's a pacotman on a horse. I want to steal that horse. You think I could? So much easier. Are you fucking... Ah, oh, God. 
Got him! <laughs> nice. Because these are horses that are already domesticated, so then you just get on them. Nice! Chill out, bro. Chill out. It's on another shrine here. Okay. Hold on. Geoshin Shrine. I'll be back, little pony, don't worry. And then we'll explore Hyrule together. You better not be gone. If he's gone, I'm gonna be pissed. By fusing rocks or certain hard monster materials, you can break through. Ooh, I knew that already. Shape rotation. Okay, so I have to put a shape through that. It goes in the square hole. Okay. Not too bad so far. What do I do with it though? Should I make a bridge? That I can do. Uh, I'll just let you fall because you'll correct yourself. <laughs> excellent, excellent. This seems like it's going to get much more difficult. But that's okay. I, I get in the first game, they're like, yeah, the shrines are there designed to make the hero, like, work for it. So that the hero has to be strong to help out Zelda and stuff. But why did they exist in this one? Uh, plonk. Oh, I thought that was gonna work out perfectly. Can I not climb this? <laughs> it sounded like you went. <clears throat> um. Oh God. Just reset that. Sometimes the orientation system is fucking ass. Can you not like? Oh. <laughs> You don't do any of what I thought you did. Okay, let's rotate you that way. Ugh. I still can't get up on that, though. Huh? Oh, I, can't, I probably can't take you through. Now see, the question is, do I even really care about that fucking chest at all? Probably not, because it's just going to be like, uh... Here's a random shitty little thing that you don't actually care about. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that is wild. Okay. What is the best orientation for doing this in? I have the same problem again. I can't get up on this. There's gotta be a better way. Oh, well, probably could have used that tactic to go back to the other part, but I don't care. If there's anything like the previous game, it's got to be like, here's a spear that is only slightly better than the one you have, so you're probably not going to want it. Or it's like, here's an opal, which are good, but not at the sake of my own brain power. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need to find somebody that I can give those bubble gems to. The guy told me, but I already forget who he said to give them to. Horsey! Wait, hold on. Let me... Oh, that's already marked. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was like a giant arm. I thought it was like a giant creature that I just couldn't see in the distance. It's raining! I need a new fucking shirt. Okay, I did not. I wanted to turn left, but you wouldn't do it. <clears throat> Man, this is a whole pile of awful. Hey, traveler. I'd stay away from that stuff if you care about your health. Folks are calling it gloom. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths. Now look at me. Ooh, the depths? I love that. Going down to the Ashina depths in Sekiro, or going into the abyss in Dark Souls, or um, Hollow Knight had the abyss as well. Going down into the depths is always one of the coolest things. Because you fall so far, and then you're down in a cavern that's just complete void of light. Some investigation leader I turned out to be. This Aww. is just pitiful. I don't like seeing Deval working all alone in the rain. So what do we do, guys? How do we figure this out? Whoa! Whoa! Hey, buddy, what's the big idea? You can't just go walking up behind someone who's standing on the edge of a chasm. One thing, a nasty accident like that would surely halt the research yep. here. Chasm investigation is super important right now for the zone I survey team. If even one researcher had to stop, Joshua, who's hard at work on plans over at Lookout Landing, would cry. Not okay. Oh. You know, the giant holes that showed up after the upheaval. There are lots of them, just like the one all this one all over the world. Can't see the bottom. They're so deep. So filled with mystery. We must continue our research for the sake of our dear Joshua. Oh. See that tower over there? The one below the castle with like the little orange lights on it? That's where you'll find our base of operations and incidentally, Joshua. Oh, also, oh. don't startle me again. I'm out of work investigating, despite this rain. Can I just jump in? Is this something I can use? Like, if I get a fire going, let's just say. No. Okay. Dude, I so want to jump in. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Whoa! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God, I hate this. What have I done? Oh, right, I don't have a paraglider. <laughs> Why did I think I was just gonna hit the bottom and survive? Oh, that was so cool! When I get a paraglider, we're gonna be able to go down there and explore! Fuck, dude! So excited! I love that shit! Anyway, see you later, guys. <laughs> Have fun exploring the abyss and getting the feeling back in your legs. I guess I could go over and talk to Joshua. <laughs> Chill out, chill out, horsey. We're good, we're friends, we're buds. Oh, they show up on my map now. Like a big butthole on the map. Oh, this tower, okay. Hey guys, it's me, Link, the hero of time. Link? It's you! You're back! Where have you been? Aww. Last time anyone saw either of you two, either you or Princess Zelda, was when you went to investigate the gloom. And the castle rose into the sky, and everyone's been so worried about what happened to you both. Ura has nearly worn herself out trying to figure out where you two went. 
Is she here? Who's working in that large building over there? Yes. Ah. I'm all wet. Please report to her right away. She'll want to see if you're all right. Okay. Can my horse come? No, not like that. Can my horse come into the area? Okay, you're not letting me go. Okay. Chill out, horse. What's up, guys? I'm back. Do you guys think I was dead? Yeah, me too. <gasps> Robert! Or Robbie, I should say. Oh, what an excellent night! Hey! Hey, you! Where have you been? Head of Pura Pad Development. Is it Pura or Pura? Don't answer that! Tell me later! For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura! She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope up on the second floor. Go see her and give her some peace of mind, will you? And why I give him a toad voice? Pink! You're back! Good job! Oh. Wait a minute! What do you think you're doing? I'm stealing. Josh needs that for her chasm research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. Man, they really double down on not being able to steal shit in this game. What happened to Zelda? It used to be cool. It used to be killing things and robbing bitches. What? Oh, that's Joshua. That hair. Those eyes. The... the... Doc! Oh. Dr. Brora! The swordsman! The swordsman has returned! Yeah, guys, it's me. Now, where have you been? Oh no, she's Wait, hot! You're not a ghost, are you? Hey. Wasn't she a kid before? Why is she an adult that now? Looks I can't remember. Interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Head of Lookout Landing. Head of Serving. Head of Slay. Head of Girl Boss. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, mm -hmm. which suddenly reanimates. Then, Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. That's about the gist of it. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual Pura. creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rauru. The master sword disappears. I forgot you that. Hear happened. the princess's voice, and find your way here. That was right next to me when I landed in the beginning, wasn't it? And I ran everywhere else except here. Huh? Then, what? are you saying you came from up there? Are you crazy? This Raru you met. I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense. Yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. Hmm. The castle rising up. The ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know, oh, I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. 
The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning to say the least. But we may have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Uh, okay. Wow, Pura! Highest authority on ancient technology. She serves Princess Zelda's family for much of her life. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Nice. Um. Okay, so you're not telling me anything new. Anything in here I can steal? Read notes on the upheaval. On that day, the land shook and huge chasms that seemed bottomless opened in the ground. The clouds billowed and rolled as floating islands appeared in the skies, raining chunks of ruin down on us. And strangest of all, Hyrule Castle began to float in the air. It's hard to believe this is our world now. Whoever started calling it, it the upheaval had the right idea. An evil-looking haze surged up from the chasms that opened on the surface. The haze weakens everything it touches. People fall ill when exposed to it. And it has another curious property as well. As if guided, the miasma coiled about our weapons. There isn't a single weapon we know of that hasn't decayed as a result. We're calling it the gloom. We decided to call the islands hanging in the sky, Sky Islands. Simple and to the point is best, it seemed. I suspect, based on the design motifs on them, that the ruins falling from the sky are Zonai in origin. We still understand so little about the Zonai civilization. All we know is that it flourished in the sky. Yeah, like Skyward Sword. While it's true that the upheaval has posed major problems in every aspect of life in Hyrule, I can't deny that it's also presented us with an opportunity to answer questions we've long had about our history. <clears throat> we've started investigating the fallen ruins in the Sky Islands. Our best lead is a report from the chief of Kakariko Village that some unusual ruins and engraved slabs have fallen there. I decided to have the Zonai survey team work out of Kakariko Village in Nakluda, southeast of Lookout Landing. The ruin that fell on Kakarika Village are massive, or ruins. You can see them falling from all the landing. Okay, the crater left by the castle's rise is still spewing gloom. It's kept us from making any progress with our investigation. We still don't know anything about where the princess and Link have gone. The upheaval occurred very soon after Princess Zelda and Link left to explore beneath Hyrule Castle. I fear the events are related. Hmm. Oh. That they are, that they were. Anything up here? Come on, there must be something. I don't... Uh, do I want to read your diary? Yeah. A stairway leading deep beneath Hyrule Castle has been discovered. Even Princess Zelda didn't know about it, so it seems safe to assume it's a secret removed even from royal legend. We have confirmed that gloom emanates from the location, meaning something down there must be causing it. I appointed Princess Zelda and Link to investigate. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that Princess Zelda volunteered for the job and I had the chance Choice? I didn't I didn't read that right. I know beyond a doubt uh, there is no team more qualified for such a task, and yet I can't escape this feeling of dread. I've decided to store this diary in four volumes. That way, if a nosy someone reads it, they'll only have a quarter of it. Such ideas are the fruits of genius. As for the first one, I think I'll entrust it to who else but Impa. Speaking of Impa, she's had a cute habit of hiding important items underneath things ever since she was a child. I have a fond memory of when she forgot about a hidden steamed bun beneath a cushion and then sat on it, squashed flat. Diaries are flat to begin with, but as the more important items in a bun... Okay, so I have to find Impa and then get more of the diary. Cool. I need to talk to Joshua. Poor Princess Zelda, all alone beneath the castle with that creepy mummy. I don't even know... I don't think she's down there. I think she's in a different time now. What I'd do if it were me down there, just thinking about it gives me the willies. Swordsman, you gotta rescue Princess Zelda. Okay. I'll do it, I guess. Just for you guys, though. I love when games have stuff, like, in the sky. Not just, like, islands like that, but I mean that giant tornado over there. Or the storm. And this kind of stuff. Like, it just elicits such a feeling out of you of scale and wonder. Pins, though. Oh, 
just so cool. What is this? this is this a grave? I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost of the calamity, Zelda. They were once feared to have gone extinct, but it's not uncommon to spot them growing in the wild. Hmm. Are you okay? Who? Oh no, what have I done? <sighs> all right, I'm sorry President Hudson. I won't let you fall over ah. again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Ah. President Hudson? Oh. You haven't heard about President Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's THE one appointed by THE princess herself! She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere. And now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Constructions, and besides all that... Ah. Wait, what's all this? Hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. And that's to put these signs up all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson Construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail, noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, <laughs> I pledge to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson, I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I have so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. I let him go. Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Unforgivable! I can pin it to the ground! <sighs> President Hudson, I'll support you. Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> well, enjoy your infinite void of... <whistles> shit. <whistles> uh, it's not really the right way of saying it, but... Whatever. Anybody let me make a paraglider around here? Anybody at all? I go into the shrine though. I'll fucking do it! You don't think I'll do it? I'll fucking do it! I'm going in! No one can stop me. I might not come back out though. I might be killed in here. We don't know yet. Combat training. Okay. Um, actually, this is the strongest thing I have. Is this really going to teach me all about like dodging and flurry rush and things like that? I don't want a rusty sword. They look shit. Boom! Oh. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. Oh, cool voice. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Do a backflip! Do I have to do the flurry thing for it to work? Hi! -ya! You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield just at the right time, striking an opening you create. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Boom, baby! Build up your power, and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Yeah, I gotta equip something though. Um, this. Nice. Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. I already knew how to do these. I'm Link. At least in the first game, they're like, oh, you lost your memory. 
like you you helped Zelda back in the day and then you lost your memory so you can't really you don't really know what's going on right now um but this time it's I got hit in the arm and then just went on about my thing oh. but no one was like hey you lost your memory so you can't remember how to do anything I get that it needs to teach you it again because it's a game and some people are playing this for the first time and not the other one, but... You know what I mean? Zonite Sword. Um, I'll replace you with... See, I kind of want to keep these because I'm gonna... I can fuse them and upgrade. Get rid of you. Thank you! How many is that now? Three? I, I need to get back to Kakariko. Or get to Kakariko. For the first time in this one. And if I get to Kakariko, then I can upgrade my stamina. I always like getting stamina first and then getting my health fully restored. Because it's so annoying to not have a lot of stamina in this game. At least a little bit more. Caves and wells have their own native flora and fauna. Ooh. A quagmire that will draw you in. Sink in too deep and you'll be unable to escape. Cause I've been too deep, and I'm trying to keep... Wasn't that cool? Did you see that? Oh. Oh, was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? Oh. Huh? What, what is it? We're close to the chasm here, so it's dangerous, you know? For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. Okay, I don't really need to talk about those. I know everything I need to know about them, because I'm smart. The smartest, actually. I don't need any more information from anybody about anything. It's so weird to be this close to Hyrule Castle and not have fucking guardians doodle 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 after me constantly, you know? They were so annoying in the first game. I don't think they're in this one. It's fun when you learn how to parry. You can parry all their shit, but they were still so annoying. Wait, can I not get in here? Yes, I can. When you have Ultra Hand, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Huh? Who's there? Ooh. The jury's off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like that. Link, it's you! Sorry, I had no idea. Your hair is down. <laughs> Wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't need to search party anymore? You could talk to Captain Hawes. Okay. I assume my horse can't come in here. I've called him multiple times now and nothing. Hey guys, I'm back! Were you worried? No need. No need, I'm fully alive. It's fun to see new buildings around though. That not only is there sky islands, but now the map is not exactly the same. The shrines are in different locations. There's bits of buildings built up in other locations now that weren't there before. I like that. Oh my god, this is such a long road. Reminds me of an area in Dragon's Dogma. Hello. What are you? I can't go in. Wow. Imagine that. What's going on over here then? Don't mind me. Traveler shield blocks four. Nope. Oh. Those boxes probably have shit in them, but I don't want to break them. See, that's the problem with durability in the game. Picking stuff up and dropping it to break takes too long. Having durability means that I don't want to damage my weapons, so I just end up doing nothing. That's cool. What are we looking at? Don't fall and die. Oh! Standing at the edge and staring in is intense! Seeing a chasm in person is far beyond than better is far better than hearing about it. Don't do that! Why would you do that? Just up and stare someone on the edge of the void! This chasm is nearly bottomless! Just like all the other screen paid up people! Personally, I do not want to hit the bottom of nearly bottomless chasm. 
Even though it scares me, guys, I'm staring into it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Just jump straight off. Da -da 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 -da! That is fucking sick, though. Dude, once I get my paraglider, it's over for these bitches. Go straight to Ganon Dank's head. And stab him right in his face. Captain Hawes! Are you Captain Hawes? Oh. You're perpin. Just like I thought. The weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left here in the world. Hey, it's a new uh. face. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. And those are a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Oh, so I have to fuse everything all the time. Can I fuse a sword to a sword? Yeah. Dude, double sword. Soldier's broadsword, broadsword. Okay. I thought you were gonna talk about the fact that I just did that and was super cool about it. Oh, I made a soldier spear. Zonite powered. Oh yeah. That's a spear, but I'm swinging it like a sword. Wait, there's nothing here! Where's the captain? Hello? Oh, is he up top? Why do I keep pressing that to think? Come on, really? What's the point of having this fucking power? Maybe I can climb higher. <laughs> Can't best me, game! I have gamer brain. I know what do. Okay, he's over here. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Link! Is that you? You're alive! And all in one piece, it looks like. Uh, don't you see this new fucking arm? Idiot. I'm not in one piece. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Huh? Hang on. You're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you. And you're here to help with the search? I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused. But that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess oh. Zelda. I am relieved to see you come up here and help us with it, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we're a bit dead in the water. Oh? Captain! It's Princess Zelda! What? Whoa! Mm -hmm. We're really good at searching for her! Okay. Huh? Wait, what? Hmm? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? I haven't slept in a while. How strange. This, this is an emergency situation. Hmm. Why would she leave us without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw. It will take a bit. Please, he must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Man, I'm so glad I ran all the way up here just to fucking run all the way back down. You guys are awesome. Thanks for that. They even give me a paraglider. My eyes weren't playing tricks, were they? No, they wouldn't do that. My eyes are cool. They're chill. What's wrong with Princess Zelda? What's going on? I'm so confused! Calm down, man! 
Um, see, I can't fucking jump off anything. I can't do any of the things that I want to do. Climb down. Where do I get my glider? Who's going to give it to me? I'm getting upset! I guess I can just jump off the edge now. Uh-oh. <coughs> I hurt my legs. Uh -uh. Goo. What are you protecting? And how did I miss this the first time coming up? This is preoccupied, I guess. Hey, what's up? No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone uh. past here. Siri is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is a direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission for the captain. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. What? I'm not uh. fucking running up that road. I'm not running up Ooh. that hill. Man. Don't make me run up and then run back and then run up again. Wow. Whoa! Okay, I need to be careful or I'm gonna get zapped. I have a feeling I'm gonna get zapped anyway. Oh. So it begins. Um. Um. That should do it. Damn, when it's raining and lightning and everything in this game, it's so cool looking. Jesus! Dude, we gotta get the fuck out of here! Run! Hey, Pura! Where you at? Oh yeah, she's upstairs. Can I go in that tower now? I wanna be able to explore. Hmm. Think, well, did you find anything? Yeah, she turned into a huh? ball of light and vanished. She was crazy. Yeah, uh -huh. I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval, for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Oh yeah, you still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? Here. I put backgammon on it so you can play. It's a little worse for wear, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Mm -hmm. All right. I forgot about that before. We can look at your overall map of Hyrule. We need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Okay, so I'm doing towers and I'm covering the map again. Got it. <laughs> can I just use the PuraPad to... The structure looks to be complete. Hey, you don't climb them like the last ones. Ah. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Ah. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, mm -hmm. talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. Oh, it's on the ground? Nice! Ah. We should go visit Moob's shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah! Check it! Woohoo! <laughs> Cute. Okay, cool. Let me rest up a little. I'm tired. Oh wait, I thought these were stairs to go underground. Whoa. Okay, questions, I'll answer as best ah. I can. How do you open it up? Where is it? Oh, it is underground! Cool! Ah. 
Uh, for royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. I don't have to do that every time though, do I? Wow. Fun! Emergency bed! Also, the shrine, or the goddess statue to pray at is here to upgrade my stamina and my hearts. <clears throat> the blood moon rises, Link! Witness the blood moon's rise. When its red glow shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Just as they did in a war long past. The world is threatened once again. So the blood moons are basically a reset for the map. So if you cut down too many trees or you kill too many monsters, you get a blood moon that is like resting at a bonfire in Dark Souls. It just resets the land. So you can yep. get more materials and stuff. It's pretty cool. Anyone got any missions? That's all I really care about. You have one. Oh. Uh -huh. May scoff at a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name's Bermano. Fruit and mushroom mix. Uh. Okay. I'm plum out of apples. I don't have any, but the most important ingredients say goodbye to rich, full flavor. I have apple. You're really generous! Giving you first crack at some grub! Hold on a sec! <laughs> Yahoo! Bermano's special fruit and mushroom mix! Looks tasty, doesn't it? I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is apple, a mushroom, and a pot. Yeah, I already made one of those. Or something like it. Okay, let's head out. I want to do stuff. Is it done yet? It gave you a whole night. Put this here, and then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh huh. That should do it. Perfect timing. Mm -hmm. You all set? Just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Got to stick a poor pad in. Hey. Hey, listen. We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Hey. That was a big switch for a little lady. Whoa, cool. Whoa! What the fuck? Turns out you just get the entire map all at once. Do that one thing and now you've discovered them all. Whoa, that's so cool! Oh! The beacons are lit! Gondor calls for aid! Yeah! Okay, Link, your turn. Ah. Oh, so now are they all active, but I just have to go in and stick my pad to it? So I don't have to climb them anymore? That is nicer. Climbing them in the last game was kind of a pain in the ass after a while. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. Do you think they launch me? Can use this travel point to get here anytime. Okay. Or maybe it's just an elevator to get up top. 
more than just about traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply, put to make a map. The Purapad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, hmm? Anything is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why you haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Paraglider! Woo! That's the best news all day. I knocked over my light. Whoops. Oh, thank God. First test, just step over there into the circle and find me afterward. All right. I hope it's not an elevator that goes like blah, 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 and takes you up to the top and then you jump off. I hope it just goes like boom and I launch into the sky. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need uh, to update your map with all the places where the upheaval has wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. I won't do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Launch me, baby! Oh. Woohoo! Hell yeah! Oh my god, it's so cool! Do -do 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 -do. That's way fucking cooler than Breath of the Wilds. Where you actively scan the area? Fuck yeah. Oh, and it scans the sky as well? Man, I love any game that lets me do, like, crazy shit like this. Because it's a video game! You shouldn't be allowed to do wacky shit all the time. None of this grounded nonsense. Well, they have a place in gaming as well, but... I want to be able to, like, fly into the air, double jump, dash, all that kind of crazy shit. Uh-huh. Welcome back! That was some good gliding up there. Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Huh. That map is crucial to our search. Every region in the world. Yup, yup, yup. Get more towers, get more map, figure things out. You got it. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Garuda are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Lanayru to the east. These strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Yes. Can't say for certain, but... I got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Uh -huh. Hey, Doc. I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Ah. Oh, and before I forget, Link... We've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody I trust more than journalists. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go, if you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in the same way too. Mm -hmm. We can create any news we want, Link. Propaganda is ours. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone, somewhere, might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah! I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda, one way or another. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, can't talk now. There's something I gotta discuss with the goggles right away. Uh, research into the chasms. Let's talk later. Okay. Crisis of Hyrule Castle, where Princess Zelda remains a mystery. Pura said that you might find okay. Impa and the Geoglyphs. Should do that one. Regional phenomena. It's just like the Divine Beasts again. Go to four regions, get the things. A 
Okay, hell yeah. Now I get to launch myself into the air again. Who are you? Oh. Oh, uh, well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Hmm. Steve. Link, you say. Hold on there. Really? Is your name Link? Hey, <laughs> buddy. You've got the same name as that famous swordsman. Huh. Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. <laughs> I'm Penn, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seem like a brave type and all. Oh. That's what it takes. Okay, Hebra to the northwest. Leaves the Rita village. Stop by if you... Okay. Stop by! Whoa! Dude, I wish I could do that. I mean, I can kind of do it. Like, if I do this... Get launched far into the sky. Oh man, it's like playing Fortnite. <laughs> now I can just go wherever the fuck I want. Yeah, I really badly need to get more stamina because I'm not traveling great distance with this. Oh wait, why aren't you going into like. Yeah, dive mode. There you go. My stamina doesn't... restore when I'm doing this, so... I need to be careful that I don't use all of my fucking glide. Otherwise, I'm just gonna hit the ground and fucking die. Huh? And it's so much more fun to get around in this game. Instead of having to, like, climb a high mountain, they were just like, you know what, we're just gonna let you do whatever the fuck you want. We're gonna give you something that launches you into the air, and then you can glide the way you want to. That's cool. I like that. That makes going back to the Breath of the Wild even harder, because when you play that game now, it's like, man, this is slow. <laughs> like this climbing. Oh, this is the one I had marked on the red pin. Hi. And, uh, hoi! A show dag shrine. I show a dag. Do you like dags? Okay. They should give me four then, and I should be able to upgrade my stamina. Because that's going to be really important if I'm flying around in the air all the time. Dude! You know what they should do? Oh my god, they should give you a wingsuit. Oh, that would be so fucking sick! Like, you have your paraglider, but what if you could get one that, like, makes you go further, faster? Because that's what they did with, like, Just Cause. You have your parachute, and you have your grappling hook, so you can, like, launch yourself from stuff and then parachute around. But then in the third game, they were like, look, that's so boring now. You got used to paragliding, you got used to flying around. Now here's a wingsuit so you can fly faster. They should totally do that. Uh, okay, wrong ability. Let's do this one. What do I put this on, though? Oh! Oh! I get it! I get it! Nice! That's cool! I didn't even think of that! I love it! Okay, we gotta use you to get across. Nice. Um, I need a faster striking weapon. Maybe you should have took the other one as well. Oh, we're going a little sideways. Okay. Give it a little wiggle. <laughs> this is so fun! Oh, 
Well, that doesn't help, does it? How do I stop you? Stop. Oh, I guess I could just take it again. Um, I need that up. Wait, I could also just... Oh, no. Um... Is that high enough, though? Well, how do I get on? So I can just do this. Nice. <laughs> That's exactly what I said last time when I was like, I don't want to get the chest because it's probably just like an opal or something. <laughs> That's exactly what it was this time. It's interesting that when they're like this, they don't need power. Is, how many of these do I need for this? Like, is, is one going to be enough? Let's see. that gonna be enough? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna overcharge this bitch. That's cool. It's so... Like, the the idea behind it is simple, but the execution of it is really fun. Makes you feel so clever. Do -do -do -do. Nice. Gotta find Impa. Is she close by? Oh, she's in the next region though, isn't she? At least now I have the paraglider so I can get across distances better. I don't have to just run everywhere. I did have a horse, but now he's going to be too far away, isn't he? It didn't tell me he was too far away, but it also didn't tell me anything else. Which is unfortunate. But it is cool now that I can have... Oh. What up? It's cool now that I can have fans. Chickaloo tree nut. I can like put a bunch of fans down on the ground and then have that trigger a bunch of them and then have that launch me there. I wonder if I can stack them. Apples! A golden apple. A rare, very sweet fruit that seems to have an extra sparkle to it. Sometimes found near normal apples. Damn. Oops. No, I don't want to do that. I wonder if I can put it into food. And it makes it even better. I should try that. That or it's a super, super like rare resource and I got like a crazy drop and everyone's like, Dude, no way! Oh, he knocks. What's around him? Let's fucking do this. If this is the first time I can do it the second time. Um, what's a good one to start off with? It'd be great to have some key size for this. Because they would just lock straight onto his eyeball every time. Yeah, I should save those next time. I don't know what half of these do. Can I hit him with gloom? 
curious what this does. Fucking nothing. I actually don't need to hit him with anything like that. I just need to hit him in the eye every time. Charge up. Oh, I got way too greedy. I got way too greedy. That's okay. Hot weather attack. Grants a low level attack enhancement in hot places. Well, I'm not in a hot place. I'm in a hard place. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. That actually even doesn't do that much. Fuck doing that. These guys are so easy to fight. Fuck! <laughs> I should just stop saying things. Can I poke him in the eyeball with another weapon, do you think? Like if I have... nope. If I get, like, a spear? No. Because I, I thought that it was locking onto his eye. Nice! Yeah, do your slam. Makes it easier for me. This is it! Nice! Dude, those are so easy. What fucking weapon am I using? Oh, the Zonite Sword. I just broke the thing that was on the top of it. Interesting. Hinox's tooth is almost unbelievably big. Attach it to an arrowhead to increase its attack power or brew it into an elixir. Can I stick bananas to a sword? Get a banana sword? <laughs> um, let me use this piece. So this is like a way of just extending your weapons forever. Yeah. I stick bows to bows? I thought my thing was telling me to go to Impa. Is that Impa? Why are you here? Shouldn't you be in like a village somewhere? Ah. What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link! The Sheikah Elder. I heard you had gone missing. It is certainly a relief to see you back, and in one piece, more or less. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Oh. What? She still has yet to return? In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda was, went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. I know, everyone keeps telling me, the upheaval. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere. Images that sprawled across fields and hills. Oh. Yeah, I did notice them. They're weird. Oh. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Excuse me. Oh, I had beans. Kato and I are traveling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. I don't know how I got there. Examining it up close, I could not make out what it depicted. I thought I might have a better view from up in the sky. I took to the air and the balloon Pura gave me, but then alas, I realized I have glaucoma and I can't see shit. The wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I have racked my brain for ways to reattach the two parts to no avail. Well, have I got the ultra hand for you. 
Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Yeah, it comes at a frame rate cost impact, but shit's fire. That's that that wasn't it though. It's hard depth perception is quite difficult with this fucking thing. There you go. You fucking did it! You fixed my balloon! Will you come with me to look for the glyph? Oh. Sure. Time to head out then. Ah! I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? I've shit myself. Light a fire there and the balloon will start to float. Oh, I light a fire all right. Light her ass in fire. Can't have any more melee weapons. Good lord above. Can I eat? Can I attach it to this? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, wait. <laughs> that was just my thing doing it. Dude, this is terrifying. Yes, good! Higher! Higher, I say! I live for the thrill! <laughs> Impa! Oh. Impa, don't jump! Too high up! I feel faint! Oh, God! Mm. But finally, we can see it. The geoglyph! Well done, Link! You know, I read something in the village's old literature. A passage about what the angel called. <laughs> ah, what? Dragon's tears! Where the tears rest upon the earth, we mark down the images to which they gave birth. Ah, ah so those are the tears of the kingdom? The dragon's tears? I believe this geoglyph is one such image. But even from this vantage, its meaning is no clearer to me. It's a zone eye, idiot. Nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might be. I actually don't know much of anything. My memory's gone. But you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close. Near the geoglyph, or even within its borders. Yeah. <laughs> Would you look around? This could be the class clue we need to discover. If you would like to examine the geoglyph from ground level, you can float down with a paraglider. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. <laughs> Just jumps off the edge. Ah! <laughs> okay, so I have to go down? There's a thing in its hand. It's hand or it's head. Pick it up! What the fuck is happening? Oh. I don't care about you! Eat shit, Korok! <laughs> eh, fuck! Oh, she did get down. How did she do that? Um... Let's not attach the boulder. Let's lift the boulder. Okay, well, I have no idea where these are supposed to be. Or what they mean, or what they're doing. Is this thing like pulsing? No. Oh! Maybe I can recall? Zelda. Eh. <laughs> oh, so this is what happened when she grabbed the tear. What? 
Oh, dear. She went back to Zonai time. Whoa. Is this the people in the mural? Raru? Where am I? We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule, Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Hmm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? Sonia? Uh, but that must mean... Oh, cliffhanger! That's cool, though. I like that. Oh! oh. Is the thing going to disappear now? Wait, that's number three. Huh. Oh. Ah, I'm over here now, Link. You look distracted. What's wrong? <laughs> You've been asleep for 48 hours. Are you okay? I thought I was going to die before you woke up. Oh. Goodness. You say you had a vision. Saw mysterious figures. Sounds like you've been in the edibles. The geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of the lost princess. Those are all words. What if they're all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. You know, according to the literature, there's something to do with the geoglyphs of the Forgotten Temple. The Forgotten Temple. I forget where it is. It lies at the bottom of a canyon in Hebra, I think. We should make our way there soon. Okay. The Dragon's Cut. Tears of the Kingdom. Well, I think that that's going to do it for another episode of Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, we made some progress in the story, which is good. I want to try and like balance that out between doing all the side stuff and doing all the caves and everything. But also balancing out story stuff. And then eventually we'll get to like those and see what they are and those things are probably going to be entire episodes on their own but overall I'm blown away by this game just everything is so much better than it was in the first one being able to launch yourself into the air glide around float through the air the weapon system is better it's more fun to use the the fighting feels better the abilities that you're using are cooler to do building stuff is cool the story seems more interesting it's Overall, it's just a huge improvement over Breath of the Wild, and that was already one of the best games ever made. And it is the best game ever made to a lot, a lot of people. Um, so to add to that is just absolutely incredible. But for now, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.